classical physics, together with Marx's principle, tells us that the Earth is at the center of the universe. It is stationary, it is at rest, and the cosmos at large is revolving around it every 24 hours. So, therefore, I am persuaded that you do not require revelation to tell you this fact. Wow, that's a profound <laughs> insight from Dr. Smith. Doc, for Dr. Wolfgang Smith, that, that is the, the penultimate step on, on your climb up the mountain here. I mean, uh, it squares with revelation because there's no, no question that... I mean, for example, in the first few verses of Genesis, you learn that the Earth was the first created cosmic object before the sun, moon, and stars. So this already, uh, if, if you have any sense that the uh, that scripture is, is true and it is the word of God and it is inerrant, then that ends the question right there. How can you not be a geocentrist? Uh, it's, it's amazing to me. Uh, you know, and so uh, Einstein, of course, knew this very well, and, but he couldn't accept it. Uh, we'll talk about this in a moment. Why, why didn't he want to accept this? And so he introduced his principle of relativity in order to deny the principle of immobility. So when I recognized this, I was quite amazed and I asked myself the natural question, what what is it about this principle of immobility which offends Albert Einstein? Why is he so dead set against it? When actually, we know it down, there are no empirical facts which contradict that's, it. That's right. It's not like we In order to um, affect his change, his, his, his relativistic physics, he has to alter the equations of mechanics. Classical physics involves mechanics and electrodynamics. The mechanics goes back to Newton in 1687 and electrodynamics came 178 years later. And Einsteinian physics is tailor-made to electromagnetic theory, but it doesn't really fit the equations of mechanics. So what does Einstein do to justify uh, changing the equations of mechanics? Uh, in the so-called GPS or global uh, positioning, positioning system. system, this is really a, a laboratory ideally suited for testing Einsteinian effects. Yes. And uh, the operation of GPS involves microwave beams going from the Earth to a satellite. And it was found that the time of travel uh, depends, and therefore the speed of light, depends on Which, whether the satellite is approaching or receding. Yeah. We're talking a 50 uh, nanosecond, yeah. nanosecond change which happens to be significant. Uh, and uh, the, all the people who work for GPS and are on the inside track know that this 50 second nano correction, uh, yeah. correction needs to be put in, otherwise planes <laughs> yeah. will crash. And they do it, but officially they are using what is called a uh, Solar barycentric, Solar barycentric yeah. reference frame, but th what they don't tell you is that they program it to coincide with a geocentric reference frame. This is a fabulous story. Uh, and nobody knows this except the insiders. And it was because of the insiders that we... Uh, classical physics combined with Marx's principle gives you geocentrism. And once I recognized this, it was quite clear to me why uh, 
Albert Einstein was so eager to reject this principle of immobility or not even to name it, not even to explicitly point out what it is that classical physics really has to say on this question. And so I realized that um, it is the antagonism towards geocentrism that stands behind the whole phenomenon of relativistic physics. And it reminded me of a very interesting thing that a scientist by the name of Richard Levontin said. He, he wrote somewhere, speaking for the scientists, he said, we cannot allow a divine foot in the door. And I, I really feel that hits the nail on the head because uh, if you speak about geocentrism, if you speak about the idea of the earth being at rest and defining rest, you, what is implicit in this idea is the, the notion of design. So, so there's, there's design in the universe. And design obviously entails a designer. So uh, I came finally to the conclusion that relativistic physics is based, strictly speaking, not on empirical evidence, on strictly scientific considerations, but at bottom it is ideological. And the ideology is contra uh, the idea that the world was designed by God. Cool